Hello everybody, I'm Rusty. I want to welcome you to Island Breeze Tropicals. So today we're going to be asking the question, what are the most sun-hardy bromeliads? Well, there's more than one and we're going to go to Sundance Orchids and Bromeliads to take a look and I've got a lot to show you. So you know what? The sun is shining. The island breeze is blowing. It's time that you and I got growing. Come on, let's have some fun and let's go to Sundance Orchids and Bromeliads in Fort Myers, Florida and I'm going to show you some sun-hardy bromeliads. So we're here at Sundance Orchids and Bromeliads today and this is a work day so you're going to hear everybody talking and some music playing. It's a really fun place to work. But we're here today to take a look at sun-hardy bromeliads and going to pose the question, which is the most sun-hardy? Now this is one of the many Blanchettianas and there are quite a few. This one is called Raspberry or Vermelho. This is another plant in the genus Ichmia. Actually, this is a bigeneric. It's an Androlichmia, meaning it's got Androlepis, that would be Skinneri, which is a monotypic genus, and an Ichmia in it, and it is called Androlechmia dean. And it gets really, really big. These are in nine inch pots, and this will turn red in sun. Now this is called Ichmia Red Candles. This is a hybrid. It is purported to be a Blanchettiana hybrid. And as you can see, the leaves are really, really skinny on this. This is proven to be very, very hardy in full sun. It will tolerate an awful lot of sun. But because of the skinny leaves, you can see probably they would get torn up in wind. And that is one of the problems with this plant. But if you want it to go in sun, it will be able to handle it. This is Hohenbergia castellanosii, and it is really, really, really hardy. It will tolerate quite a bit of unfiltered sunlight, even down here in southwest Florida. This is a variegated form of Hohenbergia castellanosii. My experience with this plant is it gets its best color if it gets full sun almost all day long. Now if you take a look you can see that these plants are mainly green. They've got some yellow in them. Uh, that's due to the fact that they were grown in heavy shade. But take a look at these same plant, not as stretched and they have a lot of yellow in them and these were grown in more light. And as you can see, that is a really pretty plant for full sun. I'm sorry about the glare, guys. The sun is coming up here in southwest Florida. We just had some showers, and I thought we were going to have some diffuse light, but it's pretty bright this morning. This is a Neoregilia, and it is called Carcharodon rainbow and in the sun I think you can get a really good idea as to why. This will take quite a bit of uh, sunlight and it's very very tolerant. Even down here in southwest Florida and our sun is pretty intense. Now some of the plants in the genus Alcantaria are very tolerant of sun. Now this is Alcantaria glazioana. It can handle quite a bit of unfiltered sunlight. Take a look at the size of that plant. That's growing in a seven gallon pot. Look how big it is. Now this is Alcantaria odorata. Um, we had a video that maybe you might want to look at about the genus Alcantaria and also about Tomentum. We explained that in another video. You should go to our playlists and take a look at that. So okay guys, I asked the question before and we're going to ask it now. What is the hardiest bromeliad there is? So what's the most hardy? Is it Odorata or Androlechmiadine or Carcharodon rainbow or Hohenbergia castellanosii or Hohenbergia castellanosii variegated or Ichmia red candles? Or how about Ichmia raspberry? Or some of the Alcantarias? 
are they the most hardy? So I think it really boils down to where are you growing your bromeliad in what part of the world? Down here in southwest Florida, our sun it, during the summer can be very, very intense. And my experience has shown that Odorata probably does better than any of the others that I showed you. But you know, sometimes it's a toss-up, and it really does depend on your experience. And your experience is the best measure of what will be sun tolerant in your garden. So okay guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed looking at all of the sun hardy bromeliads. Now remember, there are more choices. But it's also very important to remember that it's not just the intensity of the sun, but also the duration. How long is the sun going to be shining on your plants? Always look at your plants when you put them in full sun if you're not sure, and that will forestall any damage if you've made a mistake. So no matter where you are, I hope your sun is shining. I hope you have an island breeze blowing. I know that you need to keep growing, have lots of fun. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you next time.